So I had a lot of you ask today, how about writing an SOP in ChatGPT? Can it help? Does it make it work? Well, let me tell you, I'm really good at creating outlines of things that I need my team to do and standard operating procedures that I can follow later. Where I fall down is when it comes to figuring out how do I put all the details together. So I want to show you today a way that I use ChatGPT to do this. You can use 3.5 or 4. 4 is a little more robust, so I'm going to go ahead and use 4 in this case. Uh, but here's my prompt. It's super simple. I'll go ahead and share this in the comments in the description of the video, but I'll read it to you as well. It says, you're an expert co technical copywriter specializing in creating detailed standard operating procedures, or SOPs. I need to create an SOP for uploading a video short to YouTube. You can change this to anything that you want right here. You can, whatever is appropriate for you. Uh, and properly completing the description, the tags, and other relevant items to maximize my audience for this video short. Uh, or this video in this case. Because we're not doing a short here, we're making it long. I do not want to create a thumbnail, uh, but I do want to discuss how the bit will be titled. So that's actually not true. I do want to create a thumbnail. I do want to create a thumbnail and want to discuss how the, how the video will be titled. Whether a description is needed, whether tags are needed, and how to get this shareable link when completed, all that's there. Based on this, please write an SOP, including details and examples applicable. So what I've done here, as you can see, I've given it a little bit of guidance. I've told it a few things, but I've also, I'm going to trust ChatGPT to go out here and see what it can tell me about writing an SOP. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. By the way, I do not have internet access turned on. This is just basic ChatGPT4. I'll also do one in ChatGPT3.5 since I know a lot of you want to know that as well. So here we go. Standard operating procedure, and here it is. The purpose, then we're getting into the scope and the procedure. Notice explicit details here. Far better than I would do if I were on my own. Steps one, two, three, four, and we're going to keep on going here until it's done. It's giving examples. It's going ahead and including lots more here. Great information. This is the type of thing you can hand to an assistant. You can hand to somebody on your team. You can just publish to remember next time you want to go through if it's something you don't do every, every, or that often. Uh, so super, super valuable. And again, notice the extensive SOP that this is creating based upon what I did. I've done this a couple times before. I know this is great. It even puts in a link to a support article at Google if you've got additional questions for references. This is just absolutely amazing. So I know, again, some of you are going to wonder, hey, Jonathan, does this work in 3.5? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Let's open a new chat. We'll go to 3.5, and we're going to paste it in here. And let's see what we get. It's a little faster, so it's 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 creating faster, but again, very similar information's being here. Really good stuff overall. Lots of good relevant information, including an example description. You could literally copy that. It's giving you the code. You can copy and paste that right into YouTube. So again, great stuff here. Really, really effective. Now I know, again, let's also take a look at Bard. How's, this, how's Bard going to handle this? We're going to give it the exact same prompt. Again, I will share this prompt, but uh, you guys can look at the screen, pause the video if you want, take a look. We're going to see how Bard's going to do it, and then we're also going to take a look at OpenAI. Now, Bard here has also done a pretty darn good job. Not quite as much detail, but again, very relevant, and certainly far better than what I was going to do if I had to type this. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at uh, OpenAI, um, not OpenAI, I'm sorry. We're going to take a look at Claude 2. And it's just claude.ai.chat or forward slash chat. And let's go ahead and create a new chat here. And let's paste this in. If you haven't used it, by the way, I'm really impressed with Claude and what it's capable of doing. I think it's on par for the most part with GTP4. Uh, not always, but pretty good. And you can see here it's giving us, again, some really good stuff. Uh, it's even giving us recommended sizes for the thumbnail and that. Uh, more in the description. I like the layout slightly better that ChatGPT4 did, but information-wise, uh, as I'm looking at this, this is very comparable and very good. Uh, so any three options can do for you. My preference is probably GTP4 if you're paying for it, but if you're not, take a look here and, and run with it. The other thing I want to show you real quick is, you know, if you're not paying for four, but once in a while you need access, head over to Poe.com. Uh, Poe is just amazing in the fact that you can go out here, you can pick different models that are going on, including GTP4 right here. Uh, 
they want you to subscribe. I get it, but I'm in GT before, and they give you a, a limited number of posts that you can do. I'm, I've already obviously hit my limits, so I've hit my limits for today. But you're guaranteed with as a subscription, you get more. I do not subscribe to Poe, but if you need it once or twice a day, go here and check this out because you can get some limited access to. Here we go to GT before. I was on the wrong tab. I'm going to paste this in and watch. I only get one left. I've used the rest of them, but I've got one. And here we're getting GTP4, that whole thing we talked about, beautiful layout and everything else. And if you're not a subscriber, you get it for free. You can't do hundreds of these a day, but you get at least one every single day. And if that's important for something like this, what a great way to go. Head over to Poe.com. I don't get paid anything for that. Just another way for you to get access to GTP4 if you're not a subscriber to do that one important prompt a day. So I hope this has been helpful with that. If you've got questions about AI, if you're watching this video and you're not part of my AI group, I'd encourage you to join it. We share tips like this here all the time, and I'm happy to go through and answer questions when you've got them. Uh, you saw one we pulled up here. Some of my history was just actually doing that exact same thing here. We were actually putting an ad together for a company looking to hire some Filipinos to help in their customer service department. And we put that together for them. You've got questions, join our group, join us over there. There's no selling, um, ask anybody. It's one of the things I'm real key about, but we provide a ton of value. And I'd love to see you there. Look in the description for the link. Thanks and make it a great day.